So you guys heard a moan. I heard a moan? It sounded like a woman talking or something. Yeah, hmm. we couldn't make out what she said, but yeah. you could hear like the tone of voice. That's interesting. All my photos got deleted. No. What the hell? I literally took like 50 photos already. Yes, you heard of. What the heck? Yeah, no image. What? They're all gone. And I literally caught an orb like straight on moving. It's weird because it's... What, what, what? Did it not just sound like somebody tried to like whisper something? Do you like those toys over there in the corner? Oh. Weird toys, eh? Jesus. What the hell was that? What happened? What happened? Alright guys, so we have traveled today nine hours directly from Pittsburgh here to Red Boiling Springs in Tennessee. And we actually just finished up a live, had some interesting things happen already, which we will get to in a second. So this place is called the Thomas House. It's been around originally since 1890 when it was originally built. And basically there was a terrible fire that actually burned the entire building down to the ground. So originally the Thomas house here in Red Broiling Springs, Tennessee was built in 1890. I'm hearing all these crazy noises in this room. Is that what I just heard? Hello? I don't know if that's what I just heard or maybe it was creaking. That is literally what I just heard. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I can't even get in. I can't get through the intro in this. I can't even get through the intro in this place. Anyways, guys, so like I was saying, um, the Thomas House here, originally built in 1890 and was burnt down in 1924, completely to a crisp, down straight down to the ground and was rebuilt in 1927. There was a fire many, many years later in the 90s, which uh, didn't completely tear the whole place down, fortunately enough. We were given some stories here about the place. There were actually rumors that, that at some point there was a cult living inside of the hotel Doors keep moving on their own. If there's somebody there in the kitchen moving those doors, can you can you move it all the way? So I can hear exactly where Chelsea and Lomar are. They're actually right above there. So I know that's not them. I know it's not the floor above me creaking. It's definitely these doors. Just super creepy. Something is now turning on in there, <laughs> which is what that sound is, but holy hell, man. <laughs> we just got started in here and already this place is uh, giving us something. That's awesome. But yeah, so like I said, there was actually rumored to be a cult in here. I'm gonna actually verify that information with the owners because I forgot to ask them. Um, one of the gentlemen, one of the sons, the descendants of the original family that built the house, lives here with his mom along with several other family members and they have some crazy stories. Other than that, we also were told that there were several murders that happened here, several suicides, very unfortunate things and circumstances. Uh, but one of the stories he gave me was actually right where I'm standing. So basically, the gentleman who owns this place, he has Parkinson's disease and he actually fell in this exact location and was struggling to actually get up when he looked up and he saw a four-year-old boy um, and he asked the four-year-old boy to go and get some help for him. So the four-year-old boy ran off and eventually somebody else actually came into the room and helped him up and was like, what are you doing in here? And uh, he's like, 
oh, I fell down because my legs gave out. But there was this four-year-old boy that came in here. I think he was looking for his parents or something. And the guy's like, what four-year-old boy? What are you talking about? He's like, there was a kid in here. He was ran in. I, I clearly saw him, clear as day. He's like, dude, there's no kids here. There's absolutely no, no guests in the place at all right now. So... As it turns out, there was a ghost, and some other paranormal investigators obviously came through here and found out that the kid's name was Billy. We don't know the history of Billy. We don't know why he haunts the place. Um, there's a lot of different hauntings happening in this place. We don't know particularly why, but uh, we're going to try and find that out tonight. So smash the like button. Uh, go and follow Lomar and Chelsea. They're both upstairs right now. I'm down here by myself, and let's get this adventure started. So I've actually started out here in this... Um, eating area it's sort of like a like a dining area I guess you would call it there's this big stage there was a wedding here not too long ago um, which is why you're gonna see a few of these decorations pretty interesting stuff there have been a lot of interesting characters who've come in and out of this place like I said it's been around for so long a lot of different paranormal investigators, some very well-known ones as well. Oh, look at that. I think that was the, uh, like a goth wedding. <laughs> he mentioned that there was a goth wedding here, which is very cool. Very interesting way to get married. This is the uh, front desk area here. So the owners do live on the property, they actually live inside the house, they're in that specific area. So I can't go in there. Um, I'm not quite sure what's down there. They didn't say we couldn't go in there, so we'll probably save that area for later. Because I don't think any of us have actually been in there. But this is the front dining area. It's actually a beautiful place. I love the furniture, the decor absolutely adore coming to places like this wow there's tons of like mirrors everywhere cool old pictures like that <laughs> look at that it's amazing look at this old heater whoa I'm not quite sure who these photos are all of but uh the stuff in, that they have in here is just awesome. So this is the actual, uh, this is a conference room. This is where we were doing majority of our live streams. There are tons of photos all over the place. Some very, very old ones. I think that one might actually have been here. It actually almost kind of looks like the outside. I'm not 100% sure though. Don't hold me to it. This. This is cool. I love this fireplace. So beautiful. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this guy is real. I nicknamed him uh, Bobbert. <laughs> got a bunch of uh, cool artifacts in here as well. Really neat stuff. You guys could actually come here. You can pay a relatively nominal fee to come and stay and ghost hunt for a night. Um, so if you guys are in the area or want to trek down here, feel free to do so. Do call them ahead of time because they usually do it by appointment only. Um, you can also hit them up on Facebook. I'll leave the link in the description for that as well. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's go and hook up with Omar and Chelsea. Oh, actually, let's take a look in here. There's a bunch of stuff in here too. Not 100% sure what uh, all of this is, but there's some cool stuff in here, it looks like. Oh, another beautiful fireplace, wow. <laughs> wow. Nice. Really cool old school grand staircase. So this is actually my first time in Tennessee, and uh, I just love the architecture, especially in the south. It's just very different from what we're used to. So this is the uh, main hallway, I guess we can say. Oh, I noticed my camera went blurry there for a second. 
Yeah, that's, this is like the main hallway with all the bedrooms. These floors are very, very creaky. <laughs> So if we do get the sound of footsteps, that should help us a little bit. So this is supposed to be one of the most haunted rooms. Um, this would be Sarah's room, number 37, I think. Yeah, 37. There it is, 37 right there. And uh, I'm not quite sure what the story of Sarah was. I don't really remember. Um, but a lot of investigations have taken place in here and confirmed that there is somebody named Sarah here. Something interesting that happened, we were all in here earlier and we were actually standing in this exact spot right about here. And this light all of a sudden decided it was going to turn off all by itself. Um, that light stayed on, so I know it wasn't a power trip. I don't know if there was maybe some sort of electrical issue but I do know what happened. I think that's Lomar coming here now. Just lay it on. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, I un unintentionally pranked you, apparently. <laughs> so have you guys been on that side the whole time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Did then you hear a moan? A moan? A moan. And a woman's voice. It sounded like a woman. No, just... that I didn't hear. But I did get something crazy. Really? Yeah. I thought, like, I was trying to debunk it. I thought maybe it was you, which is why I was asking if you guys were on this side. Because that area is where the kitchen would be, yeah. right? You know those wooden doors to go inside the kitchen? Yeah. They were creaking on their Seriously? own. Yeah. Seriously? As if somebody had opened it, and then, like, as it was slowly going back, it was like... Hearing all these crazy noises in this room. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, I second guessed it for a second. I'm like, maybe it was just them upstairs because these floors are like super creaky, yeah. right? But clearly, it wasn't wasn't you guys. So no, we were over there. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. That is cool. So you guys heard a moan. I heard a moan. It sounded like a woman talking or something. Yeah, hmm. we couldn't make out what she said, but yeah, you could hear like the tone of voice. That's interesting. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a uh, really good night here tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're already getting stuff with yeah. like. Like, see. barely even investigated, barely filmed anything yet, right? Yeah. So, I caught um, an orb too with some camera shots. Oh, cool! Yeah, here, yeah, let's see it. Let's uh, this all my photos got deleted. No. What the hell? I literally took like 50 photos already. What the heck? Uh oh, you didn't have anything else on there, did you? No. Just from, yeah, no image. What? They're all gone. And I literally caught an orb, like, straight on moving. Man. Damn. That freaking sucks. Huh. It's weird. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I've had that happen. That sucks. Maybe the card is corrupted? Maybe. I mean, Maybe like a spirit did that, or just like my it can happen. I've I've had it happen before, so I don't I don't know. That's weird. Could have been the little boy. I don't know. Here are some of the other rooms. This is going to be my room for tonight. We are actually staying here, uh, totally overnight, which is awesome. Gonna be sleeping here. I'll probably uh, set maybe set up the camera afterwards. I really like this room. I don't know why. <laughs> I think this is like my favorite room so far. The furniture is so antique. Love it. That's just the storage. This room is cool too. All the uh, photos. Really old photos. Wow. So we are probably going to set up some static cameras at some point with some of our tools. Leave them in some of the rooms just to see what we can get if anything comes through. I 
yeah, this place is super cool. And it has like a certain creep factor to it as well, which is awesome. Here's another side over there. I will show you. Let's just head over there. So many like random decorations everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome. I think we can go in there after. Do they open it in the I don't think we should though. Cause like look how much stuff that like there's so much stuff that we don't know. I don't wanna break anything. I mean we can if we want, whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Whoa, look at that photo. I know. Oh my. The mean mug and all. Yeah. Alright, well, I get a really weird feeling over here. Something's drawing me over here. This room here is just so randomly placed. Where does that door go? I don't know. Just out there, man. <laughs> Yeah. Can't even get this back in here. What is happening right now? Oh, crap. oh I think I put it in wrong. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> but apparently there's uh, something in here that has been reported. Um, do you remember what he said happened in here? Do you remember? Or he just made a general so, reference. Oh. I think he just made a general reference, but he, the claims are a lot of the bed stuff yeah. moves. Like oh yeah, that's true. Move. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that. Can you imagine, like, in the middle of the night, your bed just starts yeah. shaking? <laughs> it's just shaking, it just starts floating. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty cool. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Ooh, it's really cold over here. Hmm. It's weird because it's. It's okay, man. What? 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 Whoa. That thing just what? moved. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait, what? It wasn't moving before. No. Oh, shit. I literally left that uncut. What is this, like the master bedroom or something? I don't know, but it's scary here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Whoa. That is actually moving. That's, that's crazy. This is near where I caught the orb too. I caught is the it? orb right outside the doorway. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> I want to get out of this bathroom. Yeah. Oh my God. This place is intense, dude. We're already getting a lot. <laughs> we actually haven't even brought out any equipment. Yeah, dude. We've literally just, just gone in just raw, dry, no lube. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> Best way to do it, I guess. <laughs> this room is cool. I don't even think I came in here earlier. Wow. Is this thing still moving? Suicides. Oh, it stopped. Um, what else? Cults? Well, there's two fires here, yeah. Yeah, one of the 19... Oh, it's... Yes. And did did you guys 90s. stop this? What? No. No? Is it completely stopped? It, yeah. For the most part, like, some of the... The crystals are, like, moving a little bit. Dude, it's almost like someone is... Yeah. Just, in this room trying to clean it. Mm -hmm. I really like this room though. This room's I know, cool. Me too. I think I might move to this room tonight. <laughs> oh, good luck to you. I mean, it's clearly something's in here, but uh, I'll still sleep in here. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So why don't you explain the Sarah thing? Um, I was reading like another paranormal investigator who came here and they wrote that in this hallway right here is where they caught the ball actually moving on demand. So they asked Sarah to really? move it and they caught it just going on the floor. Awesome. Yeah, yeah so we'll have to try it out. So who is Sarah? Like do they have So Sarah was documentation? Um, Think. Was she the little girl who died here, who was brought here from another fire? Mm. I'll have to relook it. But I know that there's two kids here. Yeah. But Even the owner, remember? Yeah. The owner yeah. said that he saw a little he saw boy. Saw a four year old fell. kid, yeah. yeah. Billy. Billy. Yeah. Billy. yeah. So Billy and Sarah. And then there's also another man who drowned in the pool on the property, and he resides here. Okay, too. cool. Yeah. yeah, and there apparently there's also a church somewhere that's yeah. haunted, but we don't really know where that is. Yeah, so. yeah that's haunted by the, the pastor. Yeah. And he doesn't like women. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe we'll go and check it out tomorrow if we can, yeah. but because the weather's kind of crappy outside okay. right now. Okay, so there are uh, more rooms down here. This room is pretty cool too. I think every room is cool just because they're all totally unique. Wow. See, I'm trying to make this as uh, uncut as I possibly can, but sometimes you gotta cut the clip just in case. Um, as you saw what just happened to Chelsea's photos, we don't want that to happen to our footage. So I gotta cut once in a while. This is just like a sitting area. something almost like metal could just be something from outside Yeah, so far I am totally in love with this place. Like I actually really really am enjoying this place. Uh, the aesthetic is there, the haunting is there, and we got plenty of time, so we should be able to catch plenty of evidence on camera. Hopefully, we don't know. Sometimes you go places, crazy stuff happens. Sometimes you go to really haunted places, and you're just on an off night. We'll see what happens. So I just realized, you said you felt energy in this room, right? Yeah. Um, the same paranormal team I was reading their story about said room 18 is where they got a lot of activity. Room 18? Yeah, and this is room 18. Is there anybody in here? You wanna like What where'd you hear from? Not really, no. You don't sound like crying? No. That's a woman. Heard something. Singing. Yeah. Tune was like doo doo. Still hear it? No. I don't hear anything now. So I think we can debunk that one, um, because that's that's, where they that's their apartment. Yeah, <laughs> so that's not anything paranormal. That's yeah. just grandma watching TV. <laughs> yeah, we'll let her watch TV. Kind of scared me for a second. She was she was so cute though when we like walked in. This little small yeah. little ninety year old yeah. grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That. Alrighty. Alrighty. Moving along. Yes, yeah, so we haven't filmed this yet. So, what is this area? This area? I think this might be the gift shop, maybe? Oh, maybe. Yeah, it is. 
Oh, cool. It's a gift shop. Nice. Cool. Yo, there's mad energy in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Are you? Yeah. Like, there's been certain spots, I haven't really, like, said it out loud, but there have been certain spots where I've, like, walked into, and I just have a sudden feeling of dizziness. It's really weird. Weird. Yeah. I'm getting that in here, too. Cool. Yeah, dude, this is like a flea shop. A flea shop. Flea market. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flea shop. Oh, my God. What? Look at those dolls over there. Ooh, creepy. Oh, they're moving. Well, I think that's from the floor. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, they're creepy. Cool. Yeah, they got some uh, neat stuff. Is there anything else in here? What the hell was that? Did it not just sound like somebody tried to like whisper something? I thought it was you. No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> wow, yeah, it actually kind of sounded like somebody went pst. Really? Yeah, from like in right here, yeah. Okay, none of us were moving there. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty clear though. This is weird. I almost get this feeling of just someone not wanting us to be in this hall. Could be. We can, uh, if we wait long enough in here, maybe we'll hear those doors open again. What is that? It looks like it looks like one of the characters from Saw. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think it actually is. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. So let's let's wait over here and let's see if we can get like the uh, those maybe those doors will open up again. There's the little boy in here. We're not gonna hurt you. We just want to communicate. Still, uh, those photos from before are still gone? Yeah. They're nowhere to be found. Wow. Whoever was walking into the kitchen before, do you wanna, do you wanna go again? So this this is what I heard. Like the door swing. Yeah. And uh, there was a sound of like like you hear the way it's like creaking like that? Yeah. It was like that. Yeah, it was like very it was slow. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What the little boys in there? Could be. Apparently we're uh, ghost hunting in a kitchen tonight. <laughs> oh yeah. Why is the water running? Maybe it doesn't stop. Yeah. Huh. Weird.
Yeah, not much happening. No. It's no. I think if anything, we're gonna get activity right here. What if we try the try the uh, dosing rods in here? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. All right. All right, guys. So that was like the general overview of what the hotel looks like. It gives me kind of like almost the feeling of like a southern uh, style mansion, which is basically what it is. It looks amazing from the outside. Um, I really want to go and get some cool cinematic shots of that, but unfortunately it is like absolutely pouring cats and dogs out there, and I think it's also started to snow, which kind of sucks. Um, so we might have to wait a little bit. I'll probably get some cool shots of it outside tomorrow morning when we do get up and get ready to leave. Um, yeah, I think we're going to start using our tools now and uh, do a little bit more investigating. Yeah, I think tomorrow morning we should actually ask them about the cult thing. Yeah. I I'm very curious as to whether that's like just a random myth kind of online or yeah. if there's any actual like authenticity to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a chance that maybe they don't even want to tell us. Maybe they're the cult. Yeah. Maybe they're going to murder us all tonight. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we literally have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I do know for a fact, though, people have lit candles in here. Mm-hmm. You know, called out the well, spirits. The seance room. Yeah. The seance room that yeah. was in the dining room. Okay. Might have actually been in here. I have, I, Could I be. Reading online, it said there's like a specific room. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Called the seance room. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Could it be one of just like maybe the bedrooms? It could be. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I have oh. candles in my bag though. Yeah, I do too. I have an Are You Afraid of the Dark candle, I think. Oh, in the really? car, yeah. <laughs> Brent gave it to me for some reason. He ordered some like mystery box and it was just in there. <laughs> hey, good girl. Yeah, so this is Sarah's room. Hey, you can't come in Sarah's room expecting to play with a boy. Yeah. Or maybe they'll oh, play. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they'll try and play together. True. Yeah, maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even realize you guys were trying to look for Sarah. Yeah, well, we could. Let's see. Sarah, are you in here? Or maybe maybe Billy's around? Did that noise come from over there? That was the ball. I think you threw... I assume you threw it hard really enough was. that it literally bounced off of something? I think so. Here, but let's grab these ones. Put one here for you, Angela. Alright. I kind of want to grab the, the REM pod too. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. So we got a bunch of stuff set up. REM pod. I got my EMF meter here on the bed. We got um, bowls. More I, bowls. Should I go somewhere close to the REM pod? That way when it goes off I can take pictures of it? Yeah. Maybe even from like right there? I wouldn't go too close just in case. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot for that to go off. Like you literally have to be yeah. Pretty much within range of the antenna. Here, hold on. I'll put this like there. You see it a lot better. Did you guys hear that? What'd you hear? There was like some bang from somewhere. What? Oh, okay. I think that might the just. Furnace? Yeah, probably just the furnace. Okay. Alright. Okay, Sarah, we're in your room. You want to come play with us? We have some cool toys on the floor for you. You were here earlier and you turned off that light. Can you do it again? If you notice, that light hasn't turned off again since. I know. So it wasn't just like by a weird electrical fluke. Yeah, the Sarah trying to get to us. <clears throat> Can you flicker that light again? <sighs> Gotta have a fresh cup of joe while we do this. <laughs> it is already pretty late. We are an hour behind. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> 
Um, so it's really 2 a.m., 3 a.m. for you guys, because you guys are two hours ahead in True. Halifax, so. <laughs> we set a device over there that'll tell us that you're here with us, and all you have to do is touch it. If you touch it, I'll read you a story. Ooh. That sounds pretty good, Sarah. Which story do you got? I think it's <laughs> called Tugboat. Nice. Do you like the story, Tugboat? Tell us why you hang around here. She might be shy because we haven't introduced ourselves. That's true. Well, my name is Angelo. I'm Chelsea. I'm Lamar. And we're going to spend the night with you. We just came to communicate. And play. Do you like those toys over there in the corner? Ooh. Oh, that's the, uh, that's temperature change. Thank you so much. All right, so I think something's here. Something was definitely there. Yeah. Can you try and use your energy to touch that the best you can? Or maybe... No. Oh. Temperature change again? Okay. Can you, uh... Oh, it's a big temperature change. Yeah. Can you pick it up? You see that thing making the little beeping noise with the red light on it? Can you just pick it up? Try and pick it up? Can you move the ball? Can you roll it to us? We'll roll it back. It must be near the ball. If the temperature over there is changing that much. Yeah. What if I sit on the floor? Will you roll the ball to me? Wait, do you see the curtains? Oh yeah, they're moving. Yeah, they're moving. There's no vent. No, the vent is the, the vents are all over there. I just notice that thing. They stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going again. Is the little boy in here? We heard you like, oh, oh. Maybe. Catching nothing on this. No. no. It's a lot of temperature change. I know, it's quite interesting. Yeah. I kind of want to turn the temperature gauge off, though. Okay. Because it gets annoying after a while. Still have the <clears throat> motion setting. Okay. All right. Um, you saw what I did there by grabbing that. Can you do that yourself, maybe? Or maybe come and play with this? Did you see the little ball there that was lighting up on the floor? If, if you touch it, it'll light up again.
those damn vents. <laughs> Every time the furnace kicks on. Sarah, I'm gonna roll the ball. Why don't you come out and play? Are you being shy? I think she's shy. I think so. Yeah, she Maybe it's because me and Lamar are here. Maybe. What if we just leave the cameras in here? Sure. And just you by yourself, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? We'll go like down towards the end of the hallway over there. Okay. Alright, Sarah, it's just you and I. Boys have left, okay? So I'm going to read you a little bit of a story. Maybe you'll come out. Come sit with me while I read it. We're going to read Scuffy the Tugboat. I can hear the rim pod making a little bit of noise, but... All right, Sarah. Scuffy was sad. Scuffy was cross. Scuffy sniffed his blue smokestack. A toy store is no place for a red-painted rugboat. A red-painted tugboat, said Scuffy, and he sniffed his blue smoke again. I was meant for bigger things. Perhaps you would not be cross if you went sailing, said the man with the polka dot tie who owned the shop. So one night he took Scuffy home to the little boy. He filled the bathtub with water. Sail, little tugboat, said the little boy. I won't sail in a bathtub, said Scuffy. A tub is no place for a red-painted tugboat. I was meant for bigger things. Sarah, if you're liking the story so far, can you show me by making any of these objects in your room move? It's okay, sweetie. You don't have to be shy. You can roll a ball, you can touch that little red thing you see. You can play with your dress in the corner. Show me that you're here. Mm. You don't like the book? I'm going to give you a couple more minutes, but then I'm going to leave you alone for a bit, okay? You want me to read you a bit more of the book? All right. But if you like the book, you got to show me. The, deck, the next day, the man with the polka dot tie and his little boy carried Scruffy to a laughing brook that started high in the hills. Sail, little tugboat, said the man with the polka dot tie. I'll read you one more page, but then that's it. It was spring, and the brook was full of brim with its water, and the water moved in a hurry, as all things move in a hurry when it's spring. Scuffy was in a hurry, too. All right, Sarah. Well, we'll try again later. I'm gonna leave Angelo's camera here just in case anything happens for when I go get the boys.
Right. So we're gonna try these dosing rods now. Actually, wait, is this on? I think, is this yours? If it's like dying, it's probably mine. <laughs> Feels kind of springy. Sarah, if you're here with us right now, can you cross the rods? He's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's low though. Yeah. Really low. There you go. Can you uncross them? Come on. There you go. Can you point to us? where you are in the room. You're near your toys, eh? Jesus! What the hell was that? What happened? What happened? Yeah. It was that. Yeah, like you can feel it. Like it's like a gust of wind kind of thing. Let's yeah. Behind who? Okay. Did we overstay our welcome? Go. Not until you show yourself. 